Sir. A robot is a robot. Not exactly, sir. This one has a fifth generation computer for a brain. So what? If it's a better robot, we'll upgrade the whole D5 series. I don't think we want that, sir. The fifth generation computer allows D5B to think for itself. What? It programs itself. We can't control it. Does the president know about this? Not exactly. But we have the president's ear. Gentlemen, let's get one thing straight. The only reason these robots are human-looking, and not just computers, is that we have a huge inventory of trucks, tanks, jets, jeeps, personnel carriers, weapons with seats. We just want something to sit in them and drive them. But a thinking robot. A robot that the army can't control. Oh, that's a whole new can of worms. We have to stop this now, or we'll have robots pickling the White House for civil rights. We already sent a man to rectify the situation. Who? J.G. Willis. Huh? nuclear-powered mechanical facsimiles of the human body. I see, what we do is we take the human body and we break it down. That's all of it. That's limbs, organs, all living tissue, and we duplicate it mechanically. We've even thrown in a couple of extra functions, just for fun. Over here, we have these units, Series D5 Marksmen. Now, they are equipped with infrared vision, and laser range finders. When they leave this room, they will be combat ready. I'd like to go up against one of these tin cans myself, just to test them. They have already been tested, and they outperformed humans in every combat exercise. Is that so? Maybe they haven't been tested against the right human. Possibly. You're perfect. Just perfect. What are you doing? Um... That shark weighed over a thousand pounds. None of the other robots are that strong. You've been redesigning your mainframe, haven't you? Yes, I've made a few improvements. What else have you done? That's for me to know and you to find out. That is a childish response. Remember, you're the body of a human adult. I'm having difficulty processing my emotional programs. Then override them with your logic systems. Is that what you do? What? You're perfect. Just perfect. Okay, Mr. Wise Guy, you want to play games? Let's dance. 
I want to test your leg. I don't know how to dance. It's in your catalogs, I put it there. You need music to dance. If you can imitate my voice, you can provide a little music. I can receive AM or FM bands. Which do you prefer? Something Latin. Something hot. I'd have to say Dr. Fletcher and I are a team, although my function is primarily administrative. We work so closely on this, I'd have to say this project is kind of like our child. Dr. Fletcher, this is Mr. Willis. He's from the government. Is this the experimental robot, the one who thinks for itself? It is. How long will it take to pull the brain out of this thing? What? I'll get someone on that immediately. You will not! We can learn a lot from this robot. It would be stupid to strike him. If you disconnect my brain from my power source, I will cease to function. Oh, good. I've got to bring his brain to the president. There's proof we've got things back on track here. Put the brain in something so I can carry it. I have a plane leaving in 1,900 hours. Don't make me miss it. <laughs> Are you crazy? You can't let him do this. I'm sorry. Who's the president? And why does he want my brain? Maybe he doesn't have one. Is that a joke? Yes, but not a very good one. I must leave this place. Where will you go? I don't know. I'm currently listing those options. I can't go with you right now. Yes, I understand. If you're going to be out there alone, I'll want to keep in touch with you. Take this. It's a homing device. It'll let me know where you are. I will go now. Wait. to sign out. Thank you. Have a nice day. Combustion vehicle.
think you should see this. Oh, this, this is bad. Oh, this robot isn't like the others. We don't even know what he can do. This is real bad. Damn it. Now I'm going to miss my plane. What happened? D5B is gone! When I get that robot, and I'm going to get him, I'm coming back for you. <laughs> knows about these aliens, but they don't want to admit it. You know why? No. Because then ordinary folks like us would panic and stop buying things. The big corporations won't allow that. No survey. They're the ones who really run the country, you know. You try to go up against them, man, you're in deep trouble. That's why I keep my mouth shut. How about you? I'm going to see the president to see if he'll let me keep my brain. Well, don't tell him you talk to me or your brain's a goner for sure. <laughs> What's your name? Steve, five feet. Steve? Yeah, that's it. Steve. My name is Steve. What's the president want with your brain anyway? Maybe he doesn't have one. <laughs> that's for damn sure. <laughs> that's a joke, but not a very good one. Oh, you like jokes? I got one for you. This frog goes into a bank to get a loan to build a house. <laughs> you heard it? No. Anyway, he talks to a lady loan officer named Patty Black. She said, what do you have for collateral? So out of his pocket, he takes this little tiny pink ceramic frog. She says, this is your collateral? He says, yeah. <laughs> 